You said may I. Good. Miss Molly's School of Manners. This book is rocking my socks. For a conversation class, Madame Merci Boucoup asked the animals to talk about their hobbies. Nobody got a chance to speak at first because a rabbit talked on and on. And I've got a blue model plane, two red ones, four biplanes, a jumbo jet. Excuse me, Ronald, you must let the others join in. Where's Algernon? Mm, who's Algernon? There's Algernon, yeah. Tina Turtle was too scared to take part until a considerate giraffe brought her out of her shell. Hello, I like drawing. What do you like to do? Uh, I like reading comics. You should always think about who you're talking to, Madame Merci Buku advised. Speak clearly so they can hear you. Like presentations, right? For classical mm -hmm. conversations. Pardon? What does she say? Because look, the elephant was speaking too quietly, huh? But not too loudly, of course. I love to sing! Oh, my poor ears! <laughs> <laughs> was it necessary to shout? Miss Molly asked. Definitely not, said Algernon, who had learned <laughs> another lesson. It was time for everyone to go outside to play. Two animals sat unhappily on the swings. They weren't able to swing until one of them had a bright idea. <gasps> I could push you first, then you could push me. When the mice lost their ball, they knew how to use good manners to get it back. Could you reach our ball, please? Happy to help. Algernon barged wildly into a game, knocking everything down, upsetting the players. Oh, Algernon. But I wanted to play, he protested. Perhaps you could ask to join in next time, suggested Miss Molly. Watch how Edith Elephant does it. Excuse me, may I play with you? Yes, jump in. Asking nicely worked for Algernon too. He had fun with the others before Miss Molly announced. Lunch time.